evening. Um, I hope you enjoyed the time-lapse video that I tried with my iPhone. Um, I wanted to tell you guys thank you for um, giving me a chance to show and share my diamond painting with you tonight. Um, I wanted to also go over a couple more tools that I didn't um, talk about the last time I had a video. So one of the other things you may have seen in the video was this, which is my um, discard container that I use for the bad pieces that I don't want anymore or have holes or misshapen. But as you can see, there's not that many for this, so it's a pretty good set. Um, of course, here are all of my uh, containers that I use. Um, also, this is from previous rounds that I did. I think I've mentioned to the, uh, mentioned this on other previous videos that I'll just take the extra rounds uh, that don't have codes to them. I have no idea where they belong. So I'm just sticking them in here so I can use them for other projects that uh, like, you know, birthday cards, um, other like greeting cards and stuff like that. Or I was thinking about putting them on wooden letters. Um, my stepdaughter was suggesting that I put them on her shoes, kind of like bedazzle her shoes, I guess, which sounds like fun, but I mean, that's what I wanted to save these for. So I just kind of put these in here. Um, uh, here also I have like a Mentos uh, container. Um, I figured I could use different containers. Not that I have anything in it right now, but when I do some of my larger diamond paintings that I'm going to be getting here pretty soon, I figure I'm going to be either putting a lot of 310s in here, I'm going to be putting a lot of whites in here, or, you know, uh, something. So I'm kind of saving this container. Um, it looks pretty useful, so I'm just going to keep saving these as I go along. Uh, I love gum, so. <laughs> um, let's see. And... Pretty much that's it. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, on my desk, um, I have uh, the glass table. The reason why I chose a glass table was, if you can kind of see, I put a LED strip that uh, in here, so that way I could light up my table. Um, I will show you here in just a second how it looks with the light. Um, that's why I have the light pad and I didn't want, I don't really use it that much. I actually use my table. My whole table is a light pad, which is really awesome. It was a really neat idea that I thought of that I was like, you know what, if I just get an LED strip and I put it underneath the glass, then I can turn this whole thing into a light pad. So I will be right back. I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. Okay, um, well, I have my uh, lights on. Um, and it runs the length of the desk and uh, it shows against the wall that's underneath um, and that's what lights up my diamond painting so I can look at it or view it from underneath. Um, I have it on white. I got this from AliExpress for about six bucks. It came with a little remote control. That way I could turn it on and off. I could change colors if I want to. Um, it was basically for um, putting on the back of the TV, but I figured, you know what? What's wrong with having this kind of a strip underneath uh, and using it as a light pad? And it seems to work out pretty well, so that's what I use. The other thing I didn't show you the last time was I just have a um, brother uh, label maker that I use to print the labels that I put on my containers and um, that's what I use for making my labels uh, but I'm sure everybody has a different kind of label maker or you just write something down but that's what I do and so just uh, kind of stepping back um, I'm gonna actually put this away here stepping back this is my workspace and thoroughly enjoying it and just getting a far away view of the diamond painting so you can see that uh, she is coming along. I only got one strip done tonight. Um, it was kind of a little bit late, but other than that, um, just 
wanting to share with you folks. Um, thank you again for subscribing. I want to thank all of those who have subscribed. I think I'm up to 11 subscribers, which is amazing. i um, very excited about that. Uh, hoping to get more. <clears throat> I'm thinking that maybe when I get up to 100 subscribers, I might do a diamond painting drawing. So uh, just make sure you tell your friends to join uh, and watch the videos and subscribe. Also, please leave me some comments below. Uh, that would be much appreciated if there's anything uh, that you want to suggest. Uh, thank you again for uh, the comments that I've had already. Um, I've already made um, my responses from them. Uh, and if there's anything else, oh, thank you again. <laughs> Just like, uh, subscribe, share, comment, and um, if there's any questions please don't hesitate to ask me uh, in the comments below and uh, I may be sharing in my next video the comments that were made I've take I've seen a lot of other videos uh, from other people I believe Libby uh, from Fantasonic she actually made some comments on some of my diamond paintings uh, and she's made comments about my comment below so I wanted to tell her thank you so much for making me being known and, and sharing my work and giving me the inspiration to try to do this myself. I also want to totally thank Prelopex. Uh, she is amazing. I love her group page and everybody that's on there and um, I'm so excited to be doing this with everybody and sharing in this passion. So uh, great evening to everyone. Uh, have a great night and uh, see you tomorrow night. Thanks for sharing again.